Um, and thank you for everyone who is watching at the moment. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. That would be a very helpful for me. Um, I would like to talk about the I miss you text. Let's get on that issue. Let's yap about that. How do you reply to the I miss you text? So you wake up, right? You wake up, you look on your phone, and you have a text from a guy who hurt you in the past, and he says he misses you. But at the time, he didn't miss you, you know? Because he had a whole other distraction. So let's, how do we respond with that? So how I personally respond with that? Ignore him. <laughs> but if you're more on the petty side, you could like post yourself and then put the I miss you like in quotes. Like, because tell me why guys think us girls are so like easy to get. Like, just because you send me an I miss you text, like girl. The only thing you miss is my attention. You ain't getting that. Like, because when I was there, you know, guys are so stupid in a way. Like, they think that just because you send the I miss you text, it's going to be the easiest way to get back into your life. No, girl. If you don't show up with flowers, if you don't, like, um, come up to me personally and be like, I miss you, like, I really apologize. Like, no, they don't even usually apologize. Like, girl, do not lower your standards just because some guy tells you he misses you. If he does not put in effort to show that he really misses you, take him out. He does not belong to be in your life. Like, in 2024, we really need to focus on ourselves. And we really need to, like, set boundaries and standards and put, put our fucking foot down. That's what we need to do is stomp on our on the ground with our foot. Because guys always think it's so easy. Like, us girls, we put in so much work for the guy. And they think a simple I miss you text is going to fix it. Like, no. Girl, put in work. Like, be so serious. You think I'm going to accept an apology but just because you said you're sorry? No, because usually when they apologize, they don't really mean it. Let's be real. Let's be real. Like, they'll say, I'm sorry, with like a text, and then and do the same thing again. It's like, bro, no. Like, how stupid do people think, like, think us girls are? Like, really? Like, you think, Ugh. it's crazy. It's like it flabbergasted me because they don't put in work. Like you can sit here and you can beg a guy for everything you've ever wanted in a relationship. Or you could sit here patiently waiting for a guy who wants to give you that. Like, why would I settle for less? Why would I settle for you just because you said you were sorry? Like if you don't show up at my doorstep with some flowers being like, I'm sorry for what I did. Or if you don't show up to me in person with just some flowers. Or, you know, just in general. Like, actually apologizing in person. Like, an I'm sorry text doesn't work because you don't really give a fuck. And, you know what? Some guys do really mean it. And I'm not saying materialistic things is the only thing that matters. But I'm saying effort. You know, like, person type deal. You know what I mean? In person. Mm-hmm. Like, you can walk up to someone and be like, I'm sorry. But no. These guys? Mm-mm. They make me want to throw the Bible at their forehead. <laughs> um, and then when the dudes who really care say they're sorry, and then us girls who have been like, don't know if it's real or not we're not gonna know it's real like it doesn't even like like your actions is what matters the most not even your words like you can't just tell me one thing and then do the other you know you gotta tell me one thing keep that and then do what you're saying you're gonna do you know 
that's also a big thing. Tell me why people can't keep their word. Like, I have friends who, like, like, no hate or anything, who set up to do, do stuff with me. And then they won't keep their word. But there's certain times when you can break your word. But, like, when you're in a relationship and they have nothing better to do but to keep their word. Like, who are you hiding me from? Who was the other girl inside? Because, girl, that's gross. You know what I mean? That's gross. That is so gross. You know, that's the thing about our guys in this generation. They'll sit here and they'll tell you that you're the only girl. <laughs> we should get like a moment of silence for that. How idiotic do they think we are? There's always another girl. You could be the most loyal guy or most loyal relationship for two to three years and you still cheat on him. My bad. Tell me why cheating such a big deal. Why is that such a flex? Like you mistreating the girl that loved you for years is a flex? Are you serious? Because if I had a boyfriend who treated me spectacular for years and did all that for me and he showed me that he cared. Girl, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it, you know, like. Sorry, my nails are busted. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand cheating. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. It's so stupid. That's it. It just doesn't make sense to me. Anywho, thank you for everyone that was watching today. Um, please like and subscribe once again. If you got to this part of the video um 